G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. System setup and product review for this one. We're going to take a look at Paul Turner's latest hybrid Linux, this one, version 3.5. Uh, I got an email, actually I got a private message from him here on YouTube, I think it was very early Sunday morning my time, that um, he'd put version 3.5 up and uh, would, I, would it be alright if I gave it a look? And I'm like, of course, I don't mind. So, as always, Hybrid Linux version 3.5 from Paul Turner. Let's give it the backyard IT treatment. Can't have a sticky peek at it. Let's get into it. Alrighty. So, here is our Workstation 12 Pro. Our Hybrid Linux V3.5. Standard test bench. You can see there, 4 gig RAM, dual core CPU, hard drive. And there is at the ISO. So, let's power this up and have a bit of a sticky beak at it. Alright, system back. Makes it pretty easy when it's like this too. It's on the PEP, which is nice. Ah, I didn't grab the console. And off we go. We'll see what this one's about. Now the links to, um, well I'll put a link in the description below this one to the download location for Hybrid Linux from Paul Turner. system which is pretty quick actually this one I've noticed that with system back um, for a while now since we've been looking at um, Linuxes that have been launched using system back such as Jim and Paul Turner and a couple of the others that the actual restoration of a system back image is actually fairly quick even though I've been told system back's getting old and apparently no longer under development. Why that is, I don't know. I think it, I think it's actually quite all right. Um, mind you, I've got to be honest with you, I wouldn't mind doing my own take on Open Man Driver. <laughs> How funny would that be? Backyard IT does his own take on Open Man Driver. I wouldn't even know how to start it, but it'd be interesting to see what I could do and then launch my own take on Open Man Driver with what I use it for. A couple of minutes to get to 78%. This is actually quite quick. Quite quick indeed, which is nice, isn't it? 
it's always good when you can get a Linux up and running really quickly and get it into you know a production mode. With the the hybrid Linuxes that we've looked at from Paul Turner, they've all been very good and excellent. He's improved on them with every version. Now we've looked at version two, looked at version three. This will be three point five. I can pretty much guarantee it'll be an improvement on. Oh, look at that. Jeez, that's nice. Looks like the high country here in Victoria. Can't half tell I'm a proud Victorian, can you? Okay. On the pep base. Like I was saying before, imagine me doing my own take on Open Man Driver. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Backyard IT's own Linux. <laughs> I've got a funny feeling it probably wouldn't be up high, very high on the download list. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to do how, how to re how to do a spin of it, other than adding remove some of the packages from open man driver that I do and then launch it as a system back image <laughs> okay all right okay so we've got live wallpapers again first thing we've got to do is change that desktop resolution uh, where is it again there it is Righto, let's uh, let's go have a look around <coughs> and see what's been added. <coughs> so we've got Lutris play on Linux. Oh, I've done it again, haven't I? Hang on, where do we get to? Uh, accessory. So you get uh, calculator and calendar. You get Lutris play on Linux and Steam graphics, Blender, GIMP, Krita, Photos, and Simple Scanner. Internet, that'll be, I think that should be Firefox 57. It's much quicker. Chromium as well, Ice, Pigeon, Qubit Torrent for torrenting, um, not sure what that is. Thunderbird. Multimedia, absolute, OBS is in there now too, that is excellent. Very well done. And VLC, we're going to have a look at which VLC you get. Firefox, it is Quantum is good let's go and have a look at the about and it's 2.2 .2 on weather max very nice office total library office as well as LRF PDF oh geez a lot of PDF tools in there Paul very nice very very nice we're gonna have full systems setting manager uh, we've got aptic uh, full bleach bit, cool retro term, which as you all know, I enjoy. Also standard uh, LX term. We'll go and have a look at the retro term. Oh, I love this. So, 611 odd meg of 4 gigs. Still a little bit heavy, a bit over that 500 gig mark, but nevertheless still very responsive. You can see there, uh, 105 tasks, 171 threads, three running, dual core, you can see there, um, pretty much sharing it between the two cores of the CPU. Load averages, 138, 109, I'm not sure what that one is, it just, I'm going to try and move that out a bit, see if I can make it, there we go. So you've got 148, 112 and 051, not too bad, nothing on the swap, so it's actually quite nice this. Very nice. Okay, we'll just duck into LX term. One thing we haven't actually done here. So it is 
is version 3.5 on the 440102 generic uh, kernel 125 Ubuntu SMP and it is x86 64 so it's very nice I must say this is again viewers he smashed it out of the park you get wine tricks uninstall wine configure wine obviously browse the C drive and some of the programs virtualization boxes and virtual box in there as always we've got a full NTFS we've got partitioning on the fly there as well we've also got a root terminal time shift not sure what that is full USB systems as well uh, software, we've got the GDB installer, the Ubuntu Software Center, software and update, synaptic package manager, and update manager, which is very nice. Again, I think he's done a wonderful job here. Desktop settings. Let's go and see if we can find a wallpaper. No, I want something close to Victoria. No, 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 no. What else have we got? Let's see if we can find something that resembles Victoria. Well, no, that's a bit dark and nasty, isn't it? Mm. Sort of looks like Melbourne, but not really. Um. That looks like the Grand Canyon. That looks like Queensland. Oh, Linux Lite! <laughs> um, ah, we'll make it look a bit like the high country of Victoria. There we go. Very nice indeed. Go and have a look at the... Oh, it's on the fly. Okay. Uh, we've got the file manager there. It's a bit like Dolphin, that, doesn't it? But anyway. Very nice. Very, very nice little uh, system here. We might just... Uh, change the time and date there that'll be why I can't actually um oh we'll get a conky manager out uh, shall we uh oh let's see what would we get there the six percent of the six percent of the CPU or dropping down to almost nothing just shy of 600 meg of RAM Go. Ooh, there we are. That's actually quite nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Viewers, go and have a look at it for yourselves. See what you guys think of it. Support Paul Turner's um, spins on Linux because, quite frankly, I think they've been quite nice indeed. We've also got Audacity in there as well, which I forgot to show you. Cheese is in there as well. Oh, handbrakes in there as well, which is nice. Also install other, we've got Caden keyboard. There's actually, geez, there is a lot in this. There's a hell of a lot of this, and it's still pulling just shy of 600 meg of RAM. That's very good. Very good. I'm going to have a look at what network settings it picked. So... Uh, Okay, it looks like you can set this up as a server, which is even better. Nice amount of accessories, so everything available there. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the task manager. Not too bad at all, 18% of the RAM, which is nice. Okay, very nice indeed. Paul Turner, well done. Another great uh, Linux spin here. I do like it. In fact, actually, I like this one out of, the, out of the ones we've looked at. I think this one's probably the best of them so far. I will do some more testing on it. We may even keep this one as one of my daily Linux runners or drivers, whatever you want to call it. I will leave a link in the description below to Hybrid Linux 3.5 download. Stick around. Live stream conversations coming up tonight as well. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.